The View is off the air, finally. The ladies, the hosts, argued with each other all the time. Then I said to her some few choice words I cannot repeat. Then give me the respect yes. of watching me while I'm doing my thing. Or I mean, don't come. Maybe I want to play it again. No, no, the show keep, ever. Girl, like, please stop talking. I, please stop talking right now. This is when they cut hosts and bring in new talent or even. It seems like the scandalous persona of Whoopi Goldberg is being discussed not only by fans, but her colleagues as well. Words is on the street that the actress co-host of the TV show, The View United Against Whoopi Goldberg, and are equally slamming 65-year-old celebrity for her questionable behavior on set. Apparently, the ladies from The View have been complaining about the toxic environment in the studio for a while, and it feels for some people that they are now blaming Whoopi for the show's possible cancellation. Girl. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm leaving y'all. <laughs> <laughs> when The View celebrated the end of its landmark 25th season last year, it was never suspected that the new season could be the final one. The show has been on air since 1999, and it has been hosted by more than 20 different people throughout the years. However, it seems like the current team of hosts doesn't vibe, and there's been talk on the streets that the ladies united against the ever-controversial Whoopi Goldberg and blasted her for allegedly ruining the show and leading to its cancellation. The View is taking a pause as of August 4th. What's the cause of their... Now, if you ever watched at least one episode of the show, you could easily spot how tensions were running high between the ladies, and apparently, despite their attempt to keep it professional and respectful, not all of them wanted to follow the rules. As other TV hosts are saying, they are done with Whoopi's diva behavior and the way she gives the show negative publicity with her insensitive remarks. The current cast of The View consists of six co-hosts. Whoopi Goldberg, Sarah Haynes, Joy Behar, Anne Navarro, Sunny Hostin, Alyssa Farah Griffin. And it seems like five of them get along quite well, with one tiny exception of Whoopi Goldberg, who seems to intentionally look for more reasons to stir more drama and draw all the attention to herself. I won't talk the rest of the show. No okay, that's, I'm okay with that. As other ladies complain, it's been impossible to be around Whoopi Goldberg Goldberg and she doesn't leave any space for healthy debate by inserting her categorical statements and insensitive comments all the time. And it's clear when you watch the show that Whoopi is actually trying to stir unnecessary drama. Just less than a month ago, while the show was still on air, Whoopi found herself in the center of several scandals and she even butted heads with her co-hosts right during the show creation. A heated debate about Miranda Lambert's recent headline, Making Concert, in which the country singer stopped the show to publicly call out a fan for taking selfies, Whoopi cited with the artist at least a little respect so that knowledge you can see her she can see you too i'm not split on this at all the it looks like there's no another opinion or view existing for whoopi and the passion she was trying to prove her point was utterly disrespectful and mean and in the end of the whole thing the tv diva decided that she had enough of this argument and she literally left the round table right in the middle of her co-host sunny statement i want the, the fit picture and i want the music in the background yeah, well, I'm a really like taking i'll relive it themselves turn on the television girl and judging by the lady's remarks this was not the first time when whoopi's fiery and explosive nature turned the studio into the battleground and the talk becomes more like a screaming match between the hosts no no that's what you said i'm sorry you know what that's what you said you said Whoopi, you know you what's said horrible. That and apparently Goldberg's name become the synonym of drama and mess, and despite its success and legacy, the show has been slowly losing its audience and rating in the recent few months. Now, the ladies are blaming Whoopi for making the show a battlefield where the Academy Award actress comes to just vent her anger out, and she stains the image of a reputable TV host by her behavior. The ghost actress has received plenty of backlash in the past for her numerous blunders and behavior, which has included forgetting names and projects when announcing them. Whoopi has also done everything from cut off her co-hosts mid-conversation, stumble over her words, shade hitmaker Lizzo, messed up her introduction of us Senator Raphael Warnock, and even made her co-host Megan McCain cry. It's not you to me. I get that, but it is to me, and let me remind you why. It seems like the show should be renamed into the view of Whoopi Goldberg, and please don't argue because I don't care what you think, and according to other hosts, this is exactly what's been happening in the studio for years. Even the show's guests have been complaining about Whoopi's attitude, and one of them, Judge Janine Pirro, even mentioned that Goldberg treated her like a dog. Kira described the encounter with the host as traumatic, and their on-screen debate continued behind the scenes, where Goldberg reportedly flew off the handle and told her backstage to get the F out of the building. And I, I said, did you just say F you? And then she said, get that. And then, after the inconvenient host with her own opinion that doesn't match with Whoopi's ideas were gone, the TV host returned to the audience and even apologized for throwing tantrums. She said, you saw me do something I very rarely do. I very rarely lose my cool and I'm not proud of it. I don't like it, but I also don't like being accused of being hysterical because that is one of the things I try not to be on this show. 
Now, people have long noticed how the show turned into never-ending brawl and screaming, and they agree with other hosts that Whoopi seems to be the problem. But unfortunately, the movie star doesn't see herself as a problem to the show. As one person commented, people like this continue to push against the norm to see how far and much they can get away with. They will continue to push until they are stopped. And another user added, the problem is when you think you are invincible. Whoopi walking off the show clearly indicates how arrogant and ignorant she really is. Well, the episode with the judge was aired almost five years ago, and if you think that Whoopi's attitude had changed and she realized how utterly unprofessional she had been, sorry to disappoint you guys. The TV host is still probably making more arguments in her mind to throw at Janine, and when she was asked if she ever talked to the show host and smoothed things out, she said, I've not spoken to Janine, there's no reason to, and if there is something that is intelligent that she has to bring to the show, I'm sure they will book her. Apparently, getting a huge chunk of money for each episode, Goldberg has decided that she is the diva of the show, and it somehow gave her justification for treating a guest the way she did. However, the result of her on-screen behavior resulted in a significant drop of views in the past few years, and the audience giving the show the lowest ratings and horrible reviews. And if other hosts are worried about their image and reputation, it feels like Whoopi is coming to work to create another drama and collect a hefty paycheck at the end of the day. And the general vibe and environment that declines with each episode is not her problem. I don't book the show. I work there, I get a very interesting paycheck. Now, it seems like with each new comment, Whoopi is flying off the handle. And even the show's producers are now worried about what the troublesome TV diva would say or do. Goldberg already stirred enough drama by her insensitive remarks about Holocaust. She said, let's be truthful about it because the Holocaust isn't about race. No, it's not about race. This statement led to someone starting a petition on change or that demanded her to be fired from the daytime TV show for her repulsive verbiage and actions. Currently, the petition has more than 47,000 signatures, and I bet all five of her co-hosts signed this petition as well. But considering that with that remark, Wupai insulted the entire Jewish community, she didn't get away easily and was suspended from the show for two weeks for her audacity. The View co-host Whoopi Goldberg suspended for two weeks for her comments about the Holocaust. ABC News President Kim Godwin had stated that a public apology was not enough and the TV diva should face consequences for running her mouth. And via the show's Twitter account, Kim shared her decision saying, effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. While Whoopi has apologized, I have asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. Meanwhile, Whoopi's co-hosts are worried what other scandal the troubled actress should bring, and they are blaming her for turning the once respected show into the battlefield where only one opinion matters. Whoopi has to rest her ginormous mouth and bad attitude. So this could be the end of Whoopi. Fans are waiting for the official news from the network, and they also believe that The View has lost its touch since Whoopi took her place in chair at a round table. And if Goldberg keeps her job, they are going to boycott the entire show. As one person commented, The View has more hate at the table between the cast than they could force feed the people who watch the show. And another user added, The View is just cringe TV. The slot needs to be filled with something that has positive vibe. Apparently, the audience had already made its mind about the show's value, and even Whoopi's co-hosts aren't happy to share the table with the scandalous TV diva. And what do you think about this, guys? Will the show return on TV after the summer pause, or will it be silently canceled?